You're watching InfoSec Bytes, a crash course in information security for journalists. We're based at the Centre for Investigative Journalism in London and supported by the Logan Foundation. This is a tutorial on how to encrypt your storage media on Mac OS. We're going to show you how to use the Mac OS disk utility to 1. create encrypted disk images and 2. fully encrypt your external hard drive or USB flash drive. This video is provided for information only. It cannot replace the advice of a trained security professional. If lives or safety depend on your security, please seek the advice of an expert. The Center for Investigative Journalism is a pioneer in providing expert information security training services to journalists and journalistic institutions. To consult with an expert through the CIJ or to arrange a CIJ training session, contact the address on screen. The techniques demonstrated in this video will encrypt your data, making it unreadable and unrecoverable without your passphrase. If you're careless or forget your passphrase, you will be unable to decrypt your data. Your data could be lost forever. So don't use these techniques if you are unsure what you are doing. If you do choose to use them, you do so at your own risk. If you haven't already, we recommend you watch our overview video, Protecting Your Data, before you watch this tutorial, to understand everything that's going on. You can tap on the pop-up message now to access it. The techniques in this video create encrypted disks and volumes, which work great on Mac OS, but which are incompatible with Windows computers. You might be used to transferring your data between Mac and Windows machines, but if you use Mac OS to encrypt your media, they will no longer work with a Windows PC or with a Linux PC. Let's get started. First, open the disk utility. You can do this by holding Command and pressing Space to open Spotlight, and then typing in Disk Utility and pressing Enter. Now, the first thing we are going to do is create an encrypted disk image. You've probably handled disk image files before. If you downloaded or installed apps from the internet, such as Firefox, they come in DMG files. Image files are just that, files. You can store them on your computer like any other file. But they are really containers. You can store files inside them. Normal DMG files are unencrypted, but Disk Utility can also create encrypted DMG files, where the only way you can open them is with a password. All files stored within an encrypted image are encrypted. Up at the top you can see the New Image button. Click it. This window will appear. Type in the file name of your new disk image here. You can choose any name you like. We will type Encrypted Image. You can also choose where to save the file, but we're going to save it to the desktop, so let's leave that option. And type in the name the image will take when mounted as a drive. Again, encrypted image. Here you can choose the size. We're going to choose 500 megabytes. Here is the crucial step. By default, disk images are not encrypted. We have to click on the encryption menu and choose our encryption. We're going to choose the strongest offered, 256-bit, AES encryption. Once that is done, we do not need to mess with the other options. Just click Create. Now Disk Utility will ask you for a password. Make sure to choose a nice, long, secure password. Type the password in again to make sure you haven't made a mistake. At the bottom of the window is an option, already ticked, to remember your password in the Mac OS keychain. Your Mac OS keychain is a handy feature for Mac OS that remembers all of your passwords and automatically fills them in when you need them. But if you care about security, this handy feature could also be your undoing, because someone who gains control of your Mac would also have access to all of your passwords. The last thing you want is to go to the lengths of encrypting your stuff, only to have it easily circumvented because you stored the password in your Mac OS keychain. So make sure to untick the Remember Password in My Keychain option. Click OK when you're done, and the image will be created. Once Disk Utility is finished creating the image, it will automatically mount the image as a drive. You can see on the desktop two items. The first is encryptedimage.dmg. This is the actual file, which you can store on your computer and move around. Below it is the image mounted as a drive. This only appears when you have unlocked and mounted the image. You can use this to put files inside the image. Double click on it and it will open just like a regular drive connected to your computer. You can copy files into it and create folders. We will create a folder, Sensitive Files. You can then unmount the image just the way you would a regular drive, 
by dragging it to the trash, which turns into an eject icon. This unmounts the image and locks it up. It is now inaccessible. To reopen it and mount it again, you can just double-click the .dmg file. A password box will appear asking you for the password. Type it in and press enter, and the image will once again be mounted for you to use. And if we open it again, we can see the folder we created, still there. It's important that whenever you are finished using an encrypted disk image, you always take the time to unmount it, otherwise it defeats the point of having encrypted storage to begin with. The next thing we are going to do is encrypt an external hard drive or USB flash drive. First, we insert a flash drive into the Mac and wait for it to automatically mount. Once it appears, open the disk utility. And you should see the drive listed in the left-hand pane. Click on it. Then, in the main pane, choose the Erase tab. The reason we are going to use the Erase tab is that encrypting a removable hard drive or USB flash drive on disk utility involves reformatting it, so all data on the disk will be erased in the process. If there's anything on this drive that you don't want to lose, make sure you back it up now. Click on the Format drop-down menu. You can see that the default is Mac OS Extended Journaled. But right below it is Mac OS Extended Journaled Encrypted. That is the format we want. Click on it. And in here, type in the name of the drive you want. We will use Encrypted Disk. And then click Erase. Now the password window will pop up. Type in the password you will use. Again, make sure it is a long, secure password that you can remember. Type it in a second time. And if you want, you can also put in a hint. But we're going to leave that blank this time. Click Erase. The process will start, and the drive will be erased and reformatted with an encrypted file system. Once it is finished, the now encrypted drive will be automatically mounted, and should appear on the desktop like this. We can now minimize the disk utility and open it to have a look. And in here, you can see it works just like a regular drive. You can copy files here and create folders as you like. Again, we will create a folder called Sensitive Files. Let's close that window and then unmount the drive by dragging the drive to the trash like this. And now we can remove the USB from the Mac. To get back into the drive again, just reattach the USB and the password entry window should automatically pop up. Type in your password and press enter, and the drive should then appear on your desktop again. And if we open it, you will see that the sensitive files folder we just created is still there. And when we're done using the encrypted disk to unmount and disconnect it, just drag it back to the trash. Another way you can encrypt external drives, which has been available since the Mavericks release of macOS, is through Finder. Open Finder and connect your external drive, whether a USB or a hard disk. When the drive appears in the left-hand pane of Finder, right-click on it or use Control-Click, and then click Encrypt. Now the password window will pop up. Type in the password you will use. Again, make sure it is a long, secure password that you can remember. Type it in a second time. If you use this method, Finder will force you to use a hint. So type in your hint in this box. Remember, if you don't want to put information in here that would give away your password, just write something irrelevant. Then click Encrypt. Finder will start encrypting your drive. This can take a while, so be patient. There is no progress bar or indicator to tell you when it is finished. One way to determine if it is finished is to eject the drive from the Finder window like this, and then wait. Once Finder has actually finished encrypting your drive, it will remount the drive in its encrypted form and it should appear again on the desktop or in the Finder window. Once the drive is mounted, it is accessible like a normal drive. You can drag files into it and store folders in it. Once you are finished, dismount the drive by dragging it to the trash or, if you like, clicking on the eject symbol in Finder. You can then remove your drive. To get back into the drive again, just reattach the USB and the password entry window should automatically pop up. Type in your password and press enter. And the drive should then appear on your desktop again. And if we open it, you will see that the files we just copied onto the drive are still there. And when we're done using the encrypted disk, to unmount and disconnect it, again, drag it to the trash or just click on the eject icon in the Finder window.
That's everything for this tutorial on using the disk utility to create encrypted disk images and to encrypt removable media. Mac OS also allows you to fully encrypt the system disk, the internal drive that is in your computer that Mac OS runs on. This uses an app called File Vault. We deal with File Vault in a separate tutorial. We also have videos showing you how to securely erase data on Mac OS. To watch these videos, click or tap on the pop up message and select the video you want from the menu. Thanks for watching Infosec Bytes. If you found this video useful, please share it widely with your colleagues and coworkers. To support the Centre for Investigative Journalism with a donation, please visit tcij.org forward slash donate. And if you would like to watch our other videos, please go to infosecbytes.org or subscribe to our channel below.